In this video, I'm going to show how to use OpenGL instrument Instrumenter to inject the code and uh, how could how could the log be collected and how to visualize the log. Uh, first, le let's confirm uh, that the code is intact. Now we could see no source code has been changed and then we switch to uh, the tool. Uh, with this tool we could inject the lock and the first step is to select the uh, select the uh, uh, the path for tracer and the second step is to select the OpenGL header file And the third step is to s to select the path where we are going to inject the code. For example, we want to inject the uh, OpenGL tracing code to the s source code to the source code under this path. And uh, then we select the functions we want to inject. Those are the OpenGL functions we are going to trace. And um, the final step is to select, uh, is to um, specify the synchronization function. In our case, uh, the, func the synchronization function's name is swap. And then we go inject. And uh, then we uh, confirm. what source code has been injected. Uh, the first two files are the files generated. Um, those files, the tracing functions are in those files. We could have a look. Well, the files here, but uh, there's no difference to the previous file. The difference is here. We we uh, this file is the one that it injects the OpenGL tracing functions. Here we could see the difference before and after injection. And now we have confirmed that um, tracing functions has been injected. Then we compile. We compile uh, the injected code. Then we have a look on the compiled binary. Uh, this file is this file is the one just generated, and we run it. Run it, run it for a while, then we close it. Then we will have a f uh, we will have the log file generated in this folder.
this is the log file it it just generated and um, move this file to this path and uh, uh, rename it since the content of the file is in CSV, CSV format we rename it as CSV and then we open it with Excel we could see what content stored in this file uh, the first column is the name of the function OpenGL functions the second column is the starting time of this function being called the third column is the ending time of the function and the th uh, this column is the uh, the duration time of this function and this column is the uh, G duration GPU time for this function and um, for, for most of the functions except for sync this field is zero and um, this this column is for thread ID this column is for process ID they they are uh, they would be useful only for multi-thread um, logging and uh, this one is for source code file name and this one is for line number and this one true false indicate the uh, internally the uh, the queue if the queue has overflowed as as long as it is false uh, it is fine and then we use uh, a tool to analyze visualize and then analyze the log here uh, we could the name of the file just generated in this one and we run it oh no uh, there's something wrong um, one step was missing uh, I need to select these four columns and place it here and uh, save it uh, save this sheet as a, a separate file since this file is only uh, for MATLAB then save it as MATLAB and then we run it here here we are then we have the the charts that we could read the information from that is all about this video